So, as you guys can see, I'm at home. I can't yell because it's like 2 in the morning right now. I am in Nashville, Tennessee, here to visit my friend. I'm uh, just going to hang out. And then there's also like a Pokemon Go event happening tomorrow, which honestly, I should make a Pokemon Go channel at this point because I play it way too much. And I've spent way too much money and it's not good. But today, I kind of just want to make a quick video, play a game or something. You know, I got to keep this streak going. I got to build the channel back up. I know the views are down. We're like, got a thousand views on yesterday's video, which is whatever. I'm not really upset. I know that once these other tower defense game comes out, you guys are going to be out here to support me. I'm just trying different things on the channel here. Um, you know, I don't want to be just a tower defense channel. I want to be Dota Boy Gaming. You know, we'll play different things. Hopefully, like after May, I'm going to have to work a lot here because I still have some bills I have to pay. Um, I am in Anime Adventures debt, technically. If anyone wants to donate $20,000, let me know. But um, yeah, we're going to play a game here, keep the channel going, try to do the daily uploads as much as I can. Uh, it's a little hard because I am working so much. I'm back to working like 60 hours a week in the next couple weeks. So I'll do my best. But let's just stop rambling, get into the intro and see what game we're gonna play today. But uh, yeah, intro. So what's actually really interesting, a lot of my friends have been playing this game recently. It's called Ultimate Tower Defense, and it is a game I've played in the past before. As you guys can see, I am level 77, so like, it's not my first time playing this game, but yeah, a lot of people are playing it, especially since there isn't like really a big main tower defense game that's out. Anime Last Stand, for example, was going really well for me, but then I stopped playing it for a little bit and it got a little difficult and then the updates stopped happening as frequently. So I haven't been able to play ALS in a while and I don't think I'm going to anytime soon because I heard there's some issues going on there. I don't know, they, they want me to go back, I guess they can tell me to go back, but we're back into UTD. So look at that, I'm a newbie, but I'm also a content creator with Nega VIP, Major Supporter, Copper, and I got Aokiji. Um, yeah, lots of stuff here in this game. Um, this game's honestly pretty good. My friend Rookie's playing it a lot. Captain Crunch is also playing it a lot here. Um, there's a good amount of stuff to do in the game in terms of like summoning and like playing story modes and then like there's new hardcore modes and towers and all this other stuff that they added but today i kind of just want to show you guys how the game kind of works so i'm not even done with the story mode yet but once you first spawn into the game you're going to start right here now let me see if i can really quickly get you guys some codes you can use to get yourself some coins and then summon some more characters real quick so i found a few codes right here you guys can use to so go to the bottom left hand corner you see the twitter thing here first code is artifacts so just like that code artifacts redeem that gets you guys two material crates and 70 reroll potions which is actually i think really good next one is hardcore with three e's i don't know if that works it does not look like hardcore works how about post okay post update 24 hour this one might work no okay so really the only code that seems to work is that new code right there there's a, a lot of codes on this website but it, i don't think any of them are working because they like recycle the codes which to me is kind of silly yeah give me souls isn't working so what i got with that is this right here i got the crates which you guys can unlock with me right now because i've actually never unlocked one of these crates before so i don't even know what they do so oh you found six briefcases um, is that, what is a wreath case? I don't even know the wreath case is, but here's another case, and I found five RPG potions. I, if I go to my storage, I've got six wreath cases and then five RPG potions, which I actually think these are used to evolve units or like make them stronger or something like that. I don't know guys, it's been a while since I've actually played this game, so there's been a lot of changes that I know nothing about. I'm assuming these are going to be for like artifacts or crafting new things, which I can't do. In the store, there's one thing, if you're gonna buy a bundle, I would get this collectible bundle right here. It's the only thing that's worth it, but it does cost 999 gems. In order to get 999 gems, you gotta spend some Robux, and I don't suggest you guys do that. Just play the game. Me, I'm gonna do it just so you guys can see why that bundle is really good. So I'm gonna get this right here, 1100 gems, there we go. With the 1100 gems, you can either get a character like this guy right here, who is a divine 
yeah, it's a divine character. He, he's probably really good, and if you don't have a divine, it's really good to have one. But as you guys can see, I have a decent amount of divines already. So I'm gonna get this collectible bundle right there. And with that, I can actually go ahead and go to my inventory and look at my units, and I can actually re-roll their passives. So over here under re-roll, I've got Sniper on Aokiji, which is honestly probably the best thing I could have for him at this point. But my goal is to get either Reaper or Savior, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do these re-rolls, because you know, you guys like seeing reroll stuff. I did get 70 from, oh wow. Huh? Amplified? Two times XP gain for shine for shiny units. Um, okay, well, um, you guys know I got 70 rerolls from that code, which is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going here, see if I can get something extremely good. I know my luck isn't absolutely crazy or anything recently, but it definitely feels like the AA gamble right here, which is really bad. Oh, you got Amplified again, which I honestly don't want. We got Greedy, Cringe. I wanna give him more range. So like what I had earlier was great for him, but I feel like maybe I can get about 0.1%. Oh, we got Heroic, more range and damage. Ah, we're gonna do it anyways, cause you know, we're, we're going for that unique passive. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, it's okay. Aokiji probably isn't even my best character at the moment, but we're gonna keep doing this anyways because at this point, it's just for the video. So guys, we just play. We got Sniper again. You guys see crit chance and range and crit damage. It's so good. Gambler. That's literally me. Crit chance and crit damage times 10. That is crazy. Okay. Nope. Not what we want though. Come on, game. Please. Oh, we got Heroic again. Okay. 1.3 times damage is nice though. I'm gonna leave this one alone. I'm gonna leave him with that. Now we have this guy right here, our white beard with brutish. Oh, we got heroic. We're gonna leave that. Uh, actually, white beard doesn't even need range. So, honestly, something with like a damage boost and unique <laughs> sniper. No, you definitely don't want sniper on white beard. If I'm not mistaken, you you don't need that for him. Crit chance and crit damage kind of good but come on game give us the one percent chance because we're the gamblers no 40 40 40 40 oh gosh is that strong three two one oh that's literally so cringe that we got cringe his cost is cheap but his damage is down and so is his range that is so bad guys that was not good but you guys saw right there guys we did get 20 reroll potions which is nice and we also get experience tones which you guys don't know uh i actually have no idea what ex experience tones even do because i don't even know how to level up my characters maybe it's this guy uh sell more in oh right here so if i click the plus button here i can use five experience tones and i can level them up five 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 only shiny units can do this if i'm not mistaken so yeah now he's gonna do more damage for us he's gonna be really insane and he's heroic why don't we just go ahead and get to the actual gameplay part this has been a lot of gambling and i've lost i've lost the gambling war because now my uh, white beard sucks but over here there's a fishing area you guys can go fishing as well it'll give you guys coins it's kind of worth it to go fishing it's just a little bit annoying because you have to pay attention and you guys gotta like click and right now with my microphone setup it's kind of loud with my super loud my uh mouse <laughs> i didn't bring my good mouse sorry guys but as you guys can see once you're done fishing you will get yourself either a character or a jellyfish or some other type of fish that will give you guys coins um really good if you can get like the super rare character from the banner and then you guys are like all set if that happens i kind of want to i kind of want to sell her I sold her. Do not do what I just did there. I sold her because I want to try to get that right there. Oh, we got a legendary Escanor though. And then finally, last summon, uh, Sailor Suns. Okay, let's go to the play area. Really, I'm only on Menno's Garden and there's still one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five other areas after this. There's up to 20 people that can join you though, which is pretty nice, but I'm, I'm in a public, or I'm a private server, so no one's gonna be able to join me. All right, map itself looks, you know, Pretty straightforward, pretty basic. The characters are, you know, a little bit basic, but the game is pretty, like, well made, if I do say so. I'm gonna go ahead and put Whis down twice, because Whis is actually crazy if you guys get him. And apparently he was just buff too, so he's super strong. Let's go ahead and hit start. I'm gonna go ahead and hit auto skip, and, and look at this. So, like, the animations and whatever, you know, it's pretty normal, nothing super duper crazy, but look at that. My Whis does so much for us right there. We made a decent amount of cash. I'm actually gonna place Aokiji down because Aokiji slows them as well. 
which will help our Whis do a ton for us there. But you guys can see, the game is very much like an anime adventures type of game. It's literally a tower defense. It's not AA, but you know, it, it's pretty well made and I, I see why people are still playing this game to this day. Like I said, it's a really old-ish game and it's older than anime adventures is and was. So, uh, anyways, let me go ahead and keep going right now. Let me max out my money. We'll max out our units here, our Alkaji specifically, to see how OP he can get with his heroic. And we'll be right back. But, uh, yeah, Dilapse, go! So our money's maxed out. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of, I had a stroke. I'm gonna get rid of that white deer. Here's our Alkaji doing 53K, upgrade him again. And then final upgrade does 121,000 damage every three seconds with 35 range. Alkaji is honestly pretty crazy, not gonna lie. He's got heroic on him, so that's gonna increase his damage and stuff. But he does bleed and he slows, guys. I don't think there's really a, a better bleed slow unit in the game than if there is, is another. I don't, I don't know. But here is the Whis character as well. He's a really good character to, like, to start off with. He does 39,000 damage over 2.6 seconds. Really good character to have on your team in general. Now, Aokiji and Whis are only two placement each, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so two and two. So there they are. They're fully maxed out, which is why you're going to want to bring other characters such as the Naruto here and the White Deer. I'm going to go ahead and place Naruto down right there. I'm actually going to place Goku down because Goku boosts my team's like damage. So now he's doing, I think, uh, 139k. Yeah, 139k for 121k, which is really good. Then I'm going to place my Naruto and Max him out. You can only place one of them, but look at that. 145,000 and he hits in the cone. Pretty good. My team's decently strong, guys. I have a ton of these super rare characters, which, of course, is going to make me super duper OP. But uh, yeah, here's White Beard. <sighs> I hate that I rolled this on him, but he's actually really expensive to upgrade. So I guess it's not the end of the world that I've made him a little bit cheaper. Like, look at that. 33,000 for that last upgrade. He does attack every 1.4 seconds, so it makes sense why he's kind of expensive. But he does have a super cool ability, which I'll wait for the last wave to use. Um, but he is going to make the Tsunami. You guys see that right there? Ability Tsunami. So, yeah, yeah. Like, UTD is a good game, guys. I, I, I'm still hesitant on fully committing to the game right now, but it is something you guys can play while Anime Adventures is down that's honestly decently well made. Um, there's a lot to do. There's even like a DVD system, which is interesting. Now, is it better than Anime Adventures? No, I don't think so. But there is quite a bit of stuff here that even I don't have. Like, there's super rare units that are higher than these divine units that I have that I don't even have a single one of. So, that's a goal. That's something that I would want to work on in the future. But, well, yeah, let me just go ahead and get to that last wave here and see how strong this boss is. All right, we're on the last wave. These Aokiji units are probably the only reason why I even stand a chance against these guys. The fact that they do so much damage so fast is great. And then they also bleed for, like... I don't know, I think it's a total of like 10% of his damage, which is fine, it brings him up to like 150k damage, and look, this guy has 1.2 million HP, but he is going to die really quickly, and we get 12,000 gold for completing that, and it took us 6 minutes, which is basically the same amount of time it takes you guys to play AA, so not bad, I think Alkaji also gained experience, so he's also leveling up, I gained personal level experience, which you guys are going to need, and so on and so forth. Now, to end this video, I kind of just want to do a quick little last summon. Look at these guys' units. Oh my gosh, this guy has Aokiji. Level 80 Shiny Blindfold Gojo is crazy ghetto. And so many other units that I literally don't know what they do because I haven't really played the game. But maybe if you guys want to see me play the game, I can play the game a lot more in the future here. But let's go ahead and do the summon here. I know Ricky has some really OP characters in his inventory, so maybe we can get to see some of them in the future. But Oh, we got the mythical Uryus. Nice. Okay. Mythicals for me, unfortunately, aren't that useful, but there we go. We got, I think we can do one more multi here because I don't need these Escanors. They're really weak. As you guys see, max damage are 2,000 versus my 100,000. Yeah, no thanks. And then Uryu is also a max of 2,000, but he has like 48 range. Yeah, I definitely don't need these Uryus or those uh, Escanors, but ooh, nice. I can claim that. Let's see. 
two more multis. What can I get? I got more Escanors and more Sailors. Uh, yeah, that 0.01% is impossible to get. Oh yeah, also they're shiny units, which uh, they're they're just shiny and they're a little bit stronger than the other units. Um, yeah, it's it's not necessary. Goodbye, Ace. I'm sorry, I don't need you. All right, final summon. Let's go. Why is my luck so bad today, guys? I don't know what's going on. Oh, this is a bad idea, but we're doing it just for you guys. So like the video and subscribe. Oh, I got something shiny. Nothing special. Uh, nothing special. And for the last summon in this video, what do we get? And now for real, the last summon. That's it. I'll see you guys later. Reese's thesis. Bye.